I hope you can stand the viewing pleasure because here's another fun-filled episode of Creative Suite TV. Thank you very much, Nat, for that very wonderful introduction. I'm sure going to get used to those. It's just terrific. Well, I would first of all like to welcome aboard uh, a fantastic new supporter of the show, Peach Bit Press. So thank you very much. We've got some exciting things happening with those guys over the coming months. So look out for that on the podcast. I'll have some more details to come. But don't think I've sold out. No, no. I haven't sold out at all. Me on my Nikon camera. Uh, we're quite happy. Uh, that takes wonderful shots. This is the D70. We're quite happy to keep it real. We're accepting, you know, we won't be swayed. Just put it that way. This is just going to be the real stuff right for you guys. As a matter of fact, I have my Nikon camera plugged in uh, to my computer here uh, because we're going to download some photos this episode and have a look at Camera Raw. What is Camera Raw? So people say, oh, I don't know about digital uh, because, um, you know, I don't have the negatives. Well, if you have a digital SLR like this one, this is not too expensive, you know, depending on where you are in the world or a Canon or whatever it might be. Um, if you have these set on raw format is the best possible quality you can get because unbeknownst to a lot of people, stuff happens in here after you've taken the photo to destroy them. So if you're set on JPEG, well, if you can only shoot JPEG, then you can only shoot JPEG. But if you get a nice new camera like this, set it on raw because on the back, if I hold this up to the the uh, little recording window there. There's a whole bunch of stuff we can do. So you might see, uh, where's my where's my finger there? I'll just hold this. Over here, there's some little settings for quality. That'll be where you'll do your JPEG. And there's WB, white balance and exposure and all the rest of it. There's even sharpening on some of them. That all happens after the photograph has been taken and the black and white especially. Never set your camera on black and white. There's much better ways of doing that. So what I thought we would do is set our cameras to JPEG and then try and inject ourselves into the camera and see what we can do with all of those things inside the camera. Can we change those settings? Yes, we can. Once we get inside the camera, it's like going into Camera Raw 4.2 and being able to fiddle with all the knobs and jiggle with all the things after the photograph has been taken. That's what Camera Raw allows us to do. Let's see if we can get in there. So, everyone. Here we are in Camera Raw. Or inside the camera, it's a very similar thing inside the camera, camera raw. All of these settings can be done either in the camera, if you're shooting JPEG, or we can do it on our computer using camera raw. We're in full screen mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little button at the top, full screen mode. There we are. And you can see the top in the menu bar. So that's a new feature in CS3. Now, I didn't expect to find Jack Davis in here. There he is. He's always tooling around inside people's cameras. Let's get rid of him. We don't want to deal with this. As a matter of fact, just before we do get rid of it, this is a JPEG file. Have a look over here at the white balance. Already set. All of this stuff. See the highlights have been clipped? I'm just going to show you something. We can't, using the recovery slider, recover them. They're what we call stuffed. So, let's put that back. Uh... Let's have a look at what we do with the camera raw file. So recovery slider is giving us nothing, no joy at all. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna do this quickly because I've got a lot to show you. Quickly, cancel. Okay, here's, let's open a couple of images because I had someone ask me uh, about uh, wedding photography. So here's a wedding photo and, and here's a, a landscape photo I took in New Zealand. Let's open them both in camera raw. Okay, so the top one, this wedding photo I took on the weekend, uh, very, Light highlights, very dark shadows. Same here. So we've got the very lights of the, um, what do you call that cold white stuff? Snow. And in the valley, some very dark shadows. As a matter of fact, if you have a look at the histogram up here, 
clipped on the highlight on the right, clipped on the shadow on the left. And if we click these two little buttons, it'll show in the image what's been clipped. That's amazing! So what can we do to fix it? This is what we do. Two new sliders. Recovery. We'll recover the highlights. As I drag the recovery slider over, there we go. And for the shadows, the fill light slider. And have a look at it come to life. Unbelievable. So it's not all just about light though. You can see the histogram has been saved. Unbelievable. If I was to do that perhaps with contrast or brightness, we'd have clipped that highlight for sure. So down here, some more sliders. Saturation will actually clip the colors if we do the saturation. Have a look at that. Colors clipped. So what do we do instead? Bring this back to zero. Grab the vibrant slider, the new vibrant slider and OMG, as they say on YouTube. Look at that. Let's do a before and after. Before, hopeless, lifeless, flat, boring, and fantastic. Have a look at this. Let's go over to the uh, DNG file. Now, I've converted this from an NEF to a GN DNG file as I've downloaded the images, but let's quickly fill light. Are amazing. I've turned into a pirate, uh, but fill light, look at the highlight is spiking. Let's see if we can recover it. And indeed we can. That is amazing. Let's fill it in a bit more, recover it a bit more, bump up the clarity, which is a little bit like contrast, but no loss of detail there again. And vibrance, bloody hell, wouldn't the bride be just pumped with that before? and after, before, and after. It's amazing. Some new camera raw things. And just while we're at it, the white balance, have a look. All of this stuff here is actually included in the camera raw format. That's from my Nikon D70. You don't get that with a JPEG. You just don't get it. <laughs> oh, oh, I've popped out of the inside of the camera. And must have got confused in, in a time warp here because uh, there must have been this book spinning around in there as well. And I've ended up with David Blattner uh, and his InDesign, Real World InDesign CS3 book. What a handsome volume that is. Hmm. Everything you wanted to know about InDesign and just a little bit more. Thanks for sending that over, David. I love it from the wonderful people at Peach Pit Press as well. Is that the time on my Javan, on my uh, German um, GPS uh, wristwatch? Gee, I'd better get on with it. I've got another book here, How to Wow uh, Photoshop Elements. Uh, wonderful authors there, Jack Davis, uh, Mike McHugh, never heard of him, Wayne Rankin. You might like to get your hands on those if you haven't got the real version of Photoshop, that is Photoshop Elements. Could be the one for you. Thanks again for tuning in uh, to another haphazard, ridiculous episode, but hopefully informative episode of Creative Suite TV. We'll see you again real soon. My name's Michael Q, signing off.